Well, hello everyone. Um, this is video on this new adapter that I purchased. So I uh, have this skid steer, you know, John Deere 317, y'all have seen it uh, in my other videos. And I have a six foot shredder. It's a three point um, regular PTO tractor shredder. And I didn't want to have to go buy a new brush cutter, brush hog, whatever you want to call them, for the skid steer. Um, one, they're quite a bit more expensive than a regular three-point shredder that runs on a PTO. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why, because it's just a hydraulic motor instead of, uh, you know, the PTO shaft and everything. But anyways, they, uh, they want a lot for them. And uh, so basically, I want to use my six-foot shredder on the front of my skid steer as a skid steer shredder. So to do that, you know, I could either one, modify my shredder with a hydraulic motor and connect it to the PTO, do all of that. But then I've got one device that I've upgraded and that's it. Um, so instead, I decided to try out this uh, Titan three point adapter that goes onto a skid steer. So basically the back plate there is a skid steer quick hitch plate and it's got two legs off of it that uh, hold the three point from the bottom and then you've got your top link that's there hanging down in the middle. And then, uh, then you have a hydraulic PTO right here that um, you know you connect to your auxiliaries on your skid steer which run this hydraulic motor which runs your PTO on your implement um, but anyways I just wanted the freedom to be able to run any three-point attachment I wanted on the skid steer and also be able to operate it with a PTO so that's what this is and uh, I don't see many videos on these Maybe not many people want them. I'm not sure how much they sell, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this out and I'll let you guys know how well it's working for me. Um, you know, is it worth it to purchase? And, you know, is there anything that I would do differently? But uh, that's what we're all here for, right? I need to experience it and let you know. So as soon as I get this thing uncrated and hooked up, I'll, uh, I'll hook it up and we'll see how well it's going to work. All right, so I've got it uh, out of the crate. It's actually pretty easy. It just had uh, some uh, some bolts holding the top part of the frame on of the crate. As you can see, here's the top part. It's just like a cap. And then uh, this was just really wired in to the crate. I just used a screwdriver to untwist the wires and out it came. So now I'm going to lift it up. It's going to take some adjustments because, you know, those bolts can unscrew and tighten and, and they line up certain ways. So I'm going to Put it up next to my shredder get it lined up for the three point on that and then uh then we'll see how well it works all right so i've got it off the crate i uh, haven't really had to do anything to the adapter itself as in changing the bolts i may tighten up those uh, arms a little bit because they are a little loose on the three point area and then of course my pins are loose on my shredder from wobbling for so many years i guess but um so i could tighten all that i may put some new pins in the shredder but uh overall this is uh right out the crate and i hooked it up to the auxiliaries and i ran the pto and it looks like there's no clutch i don't believe in this uh pto motor because when i run the attachment and i've got it running at a pretty good rpm um, and then I let off the auxiliaries, I can hear um, like, a, like a clutching noise from the bottom of the skid steer, which of course would be where my hydraulic drives and pump would be. So I'm assuming it's relying on your machine to have some kind of hydraulic clutch for your auxiliaries uh, because there's no bypass. It doesn't look like on these hoses. There's just two hoses right into the motor and they go right into the auxiliary. So um, you know, that may be something you need to look into if, if you're, uh, 
worried about that with your skid steer. I'm going to look into it just to make sure that it's not something that would be a problem on my skid steer. Um, but anyways, there's the motor. I hooked it up to the PTO on the shredder. And uh, all of that seems to be okay. I've got a um, slip clutch on my PTO. So if it really came down to it, I'm sure that, that slip clutch would engage. And uh, since this runs, you know, from the hydraulics like that with the, uh, uh, dang it, what's that called? The hookup on the top and everything. I'm going to take off this wheel because this wheel is just going to be in the way. It actually broke a weld anyway. So I'm really just going to take off this wheel and um, all of this metal infrastructure there for the wheel. And then I'm also going to take off this metal guard on the front um, to allow an opening in the front as I come up to stuff. I know that will create more of a possibility of things flying out, um, you know, but that's just something you have to deal with. I know the, the ones you buy, the hydraulic ones you buy for the skid steer, I mean, they're wide open in the front. So um, I basically I'm thinking I need to do the same on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to start uh, testing this thing on cutting. All right, everyone, so I did get the wheel off of here and uh, I took the skirting even around here off. It actually didn't open up as much as I thought it would down there, but that's okay. I kind of tilted the front up when I started to try to mow, but uh, try to mow is actually what happened. And uh, I didn't like this from the start. When I first put it on and I first looked at it, I was like, who in the world thought of this design because it's it's junk um man i was really hopeful about this product but look at that i mean first of all it doesn't hold the pins now it won't hold a quick hitch pin in there it's too the quick hitch pin is too big so yeah i took my quick hitch adapters off and made it back to just the regular you know cat one style pins but these stupid levers here keep popping and loosening and they don't hold the pin inside so even and it's not even when the mower hits anything it's like if i lift up a little bit to uh you know to move it or to do a different angle or something this crappy design thing here doesn't even hold the pin in it just keeps popping out popping out so sorry guys it's real windy here so uh so yeah, this thing's junk. I mean, this the, I, I don't understand how they could design a, a nice device like this and put such just junk when it comes to the three-point bottom. I mean, this this on your tractor takes a beating, right? This this hook on your tractor takes a beating with a you know shredders or think about a box blade on how it just moves around inside of this hole this thing has to be sturdy this can't be some cheap little crap that's going and it's not like this is straight up and down straight up vertical this is at an angle right so think about it if you're mowing and you put any resistance on the front of this let's say i wanted to do a blade on this thing it would just rip right out of here so, I mean, I, I can't stand behind this product and recommend it to anybody because it just doesn't hold up. So, the other problem I have is, is this is kind of weak. The layout with just these two arms coming out, not strong. Uh, what I'm finding is, is that when you do a turn left or right, if you have to drag the shredder at all, it looks like it's going to break these arms off. And uh, so really that's kind of scary. They don't look very sturdy when you're moving. Now I haven't bent them, I don't think. But I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I've shred about 30 feet. Uh, but this is what I'm going to do since I've already got it. And, uh, you know, there ain't much more I can I can say about it. I, I mean, I like the motor. The, the PTL motor seems to be doing fine. I am disappointed that it relies on your hydraulics as a clutch instead of uh, having a built-in clutch with the motor or some kind of relief valve that will allow this to uh, to spin a moment and uh, not keep beating up on your on your clutch. I mean, on your hydraulics. But the other thing I don't like is this uh, this top link. So. 
you see this huge top link here and you're thinking man there is a lot of adjustment in this huge top link those those uh, connection ends must go in a foot on each side no they don't they only go in about that far I'm I'm about probably half an inch maybe an inch in on each side and that's just to hold it um, those ends have hardly any adjustment to them and get this you can't do like your normal top link and twist this one direction the threads on this are not set up that way so if you spin this you're loosening one and you're tightening the other so you're not giving yourself any adjustment all that's going to happen is one of these is going to get really tight and one of these is going to get really loose but you don't actually give yourself any more adjustment in or out because of the way they're threaded um, makes absolutely no sense I don't understand why would they if you're gonna do that just give me a bar right that maybe has a couple holes in it where I can adjust it uh, don't give me something that screws on in the same direction and doesn't give me an adjustment I have to take it off and unscrew those each separately by hand to adjust the length that doesn't make any sense so uh, so again I'm, I'm not really happy with the purchase yet uh, I'm gonna make some adjustments right now what I'm gonna do is unhook this and I'm actually going to install my quick hitch on this to see if that sturdies this thing up uh, I can't recommend it guys if, if you uh, if you're watching these videos and you're like wow I'd love to get one of these I'm sorry Titan I can't recommend it you uh, you got to make this thing better and, and sturdier I mean we're talking about a skid steer mine's a small skid steer and I feel like I'm gonna rip this thing in pieces so um, I don't know how it got the, the four or five stars that it has right now so uh, but anyways, I'm going to probably contact them and see if they can work me out something that's going to work better than these these really poor uh, designed three-point connections. So, All right, so it's really bright today, but uh, what I'm doing is I'm packaging this product back into its crate. I did get a hold of uh, Titan Support, and I worked with them for a little while on this, and uh, they agreed that... It's really not going to fulfill the needs that I have for this uh, this device. So, again, basically I bought this to run the shredder on it. So I have a six-foot shredder, like you see early in the video. But I, that's the main purpose. I really want to run that shredder on this. So, um, after working with them for a while, you know, they did, uh, they did realize and tell me that it's not going to meet the needs that I want. Basically... Uh, I, when I purchased this product, um, I was assuming, and again, there's the assumption, don't make assumptions, because their owner's manual doesn't really have any data in it, uh, it just really has a parts breakdown, which I, I should have used that to know that it didn't have a bypass, uh, but I figured maybe it had a bypass in the, the motor or something, I'm not sure, but it doesn't. So basically, the first problem I have with this is it doesn't have a bypass valve or a bypass uh, in the hose or, or a check valve anything that would allow it to free spin um, if the actual PTO still has um, movement so like let's say the shredder spinning up and uh, it's not going to stop immediately when I let off the auxiliaries so there's going to have to be some kind of bypass valve uh, or a PTO slip clutch which you can purchase separately on these things I could have probably put that on here and and fixed that problem but then the other problem I had, top link here, the top link doesn't spin like a normal top link. So um, you, to adjust it, you have to take it off and spin the ends instead of moving the top link in one direction or the other, which would uh, increase or decrease the length. This one's threaded differently, so that way you, you actually have to take it off and individually spin them by hand to extend it or shorten it. So that that to me is a flaw uh, and it very well could be a defect in that top link and maybe it was maybe it's supposed to work that way and it's just not I'm not sure but um, you know I didn't get any details on that uh, from them but it, it's definitely something that affects how a top link works then the next problem I had which probably can be solved with some washers um, and uh, I'll probably make a video to show you what I mean by that later. But um, there, what's go, what happens with these is the arms, they're very sturdy up and down. They can handle, it looks like a lot of load. But left and right, 
there's nothing to protect them from swaying, I guess you could say. I mean, the bolts are there and they're, it is pretty dang sturdy, but when you have a big implement off the end of this that weighs a thousand pounds or so, and you're using your skid steer, you know, at, at relatively high RPMs because you need the flow, uh, when you move left or right, it's going to be a little jerky and it's going to be moving left and right pretty quickly. Um, what happens is, is these arms will kind of sway left or right a little bit with the implement. And what happens is these end pieces slide off. Um, if you're not doing that, if you're not running at a high RPM or you're not using this for something with the PTO, I'm sure it's not a problem. Um, but they'll slip off uh, and pop out. And then that damages the ends of these these uh, lower arm links or whatever you want to call them for the for the pins. Like I said, I can't recommend this product, but I'm going to put a link to the description anyway of this product. So you can check it out on their website and see if they have something newer. And, uh, you know, I'll also put a link to the other three point uh, connector they have without the PTO device. I may end up buying that to convert my shredder. Uh, just so I don't have to weld plates and do all of this miscellaneous stuff, but I may buy that from them and then just convert that into uh, something with a hydraulic motor on it. So, but anyway, sorry, we will see. I'm going to ship this back. Like, and I, like I said, they, uh, they're, they're great. They sent me an RMA. They're paying return shipping, you know, full refund. I mean, it, it's, it's not like they're giving me any trouble for it. This is, they've, they've handled it very well. Uh, this product just didn't, didn't work out the way I needed. So all right, everyone, thank you very much. If this video was helpful, you know, like I say, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the YouTube stuff they want you to do, give the video a thumbs up, you know, whatever, whatever it needs. But uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, hope this helps someone out. Y'all take care.